My name is Sophie Pierre. My Kitunaka name is Kunkanusklan. I am a Kamnik and I am Kitunaka. And I served as chief in Akam for 26 years and uh, was on council for 30. The history of the, of the church is that it was built in, well, it, it, it served its first mass in 1897. They started building it about 1896. And it was as a result of the discovery of the Moye mine, which led to the creation of the whole company of Kaminko, um, the Moye mine and the Kimberley mines. And uh, this was the proceeds that um, the that our people got <laughs> out of finally discovering that mine, we got a church. It's a beautiful church. It's built in um, the uh, a very traditional manner of Catholic churches. I was witness to some of the restoration that went on in this old church. Restoration, as I mentioned, um, in 1985 was the major one. That's where the, the painting that you see in here now, the, the whole building was, was repainted. There was a lot of work done on the steeple and on the, on the roof. And then um, just in the last oh, half a dozen years, the work on the restoration of all of these beautiful statues, that, that happened just in, in the last little while. And that was with funding, of course, from Columbia Basin Trust and other areas. Let's go and take a look at the, uh, at the altar. Iconic representations of the Last Supper. And it is, um, it's, it's really different. You don't see this kind of work in many churches here in Canada. You would see this like all over Europe, uh, particularly in Italy. But um, yeah, having something like this in our church, it's, it's really quite special. Stained glass windows, which rival anything that you would see in uh, major churches around the world, including what you would see in, at St. Peter's. Um, this stained glass was shipped here from Italy in 1896-97. And th this is the original stained glass from that time. So it's pretty incredible that um, all of these years, like 125 years, that these stained glass has, um, has lasted like this. And, they're, and it's in really good shape. I mean, we've had a little bit of work done on them, but really, when you consider how old they are, it's pretty amazing. The same thing with the Stations of the Cross. Those also were shipped from Italy at the beginning, of, at when, they, when they built the church. So everything in here, is original from that time. The pews, the, uh, the altar rail, the statues are from different times, but the sort of what's, what's in the, the body of the church, that is all here since 1897. The whole experience at the residential school is, uh, it's a sad experience, you know, it, it was not, not a great experience, but it was always, um, anytime that there's a, a break in the usual schedule. Uh, so for us kids, being able to walk over here to go to church, you know, there's a possibility that we might see our parents. So it was exciting. And so as a child, we, I used to come over here from the residential school. We'd all march over here on a Sunday and have mass here. And um, as we come up to Easter, you know, that was always a really big, um, you know, time for the church. We'd have Mass here on, on Good Friday and then again on Easter Sunday. So I have all those memories of being here as a child during those times. Looking up at the choir loft, I never really talked about the choir loft. 
but we did used to sit up there too. That's where we um, would sing from. Thank you.